don't. Rush University Medical Center now has a new technology. The human body is very dynamic. So what happens with change in position, you know, sitting, standing, laying down, is that you get literally a power surge. So throughout the day, a patient might have to reach for a remote and adjust the current, turning it up or down. That can be annoying and disruptive. Simulation can adjust to change in position. You're not going to have to tweak it so frequently. So it almost becomes part of your body, translates into better pain relief. Pain specialists at Loyola University Medical Center don't have this advanced option yet, but they're interested in tracking its success. They say even without the advance, neurostimulation can be a really good solution, but one that is still underused. If a patient's able to function more closely to their normal lifestyle without interfering with either medications, without adjusting things, trying to figure out what's going on, I think it's better for them. I mean, they actually do better. Have you been sleeping well, by the way, with the devices? Incredible. Good. That's big. When I don't have to think about the thing that's controlling my pain, certainly that makes me more normal. Richardson recently had the new motion sensor programmed and activated. Now the sensation stays the same, regardless of where my body's going, which is just crazy. Neurostimulators are most often used to treat neuropathic pain and leg and back pain. But the therapy isn't for everyone, and like all surgeries, it can carry some risks. This newest technology is made by Medtronic and is FDA approved. If you'd like more information, go to our website, abc7chicago.com.